The future for DC Films is becoming more clear. Superman, Batman, and lots of villains and violence. What's up, Comic Book Nation? BD here with some big DC news as a new report from Variety and some of our own inside intel has provided some major updates with what's going on over at Warner Brothers. Let's start with Superman, a character who apparently might not arrive on the big screen again until 2023. Black Panther star Michael B. Jordan met with the studio and pitched a vision for the character, but is ultimately not eager to sign on to a project with no starting point in sight as he's busy enough on his own. Meanwhile, WB pitched J.J. Abrams and his Bad Robot Company on a Superman idea, and those conversations might still be happening. WB is apparently a little concerned about oversaturating the market with Clark Kent stuff, looking at their two big screen reboots and multiple small screen appearances with the character in the past 15 years. Black Adam producer Hiram Garcia told me Henry Cavill's Superman in The Rock's new movie would be powerful, and while he didn't confirm such a crossover, he's definitely excited about such an idea. Dwayne Johnson also told me this week that it will be introducing the JSA, so look out for an impressive roster of characters when Black Adam hits theaters in December of 2021. Meanwhile, J.J. Abrams might find himself working on Green Lantern Corps. Jeff Johns is going to hand in a script for the movie before 2019 comes to an end, and rumor has it Greg Berlanti might end up involved, seeing as he and Johns are going to work on a Green Lantern TV show together. The Aquaman sequel is not exactly close. It's not expected to start production until early 2021, but James Wan is back to direct. The spin-off, The Trench, based on the creatures consuming the most beautiful single frame of the first Aquaman movie, unless you ask my mom, she loves Moa, is currently looking for a director and should be getting started well before the sequel. Here's what Juan told me about the trench back in June. We, uh, you know, we, we, we're still deep in, in sort of crafting the script, crafting the story right now, so I don't want to get into that too much. But, uh, but definitely it's one I really wanted to lean into the horror of it. So it's going to play more as a monster horror movie than it will as a superhero film. Um, but, uh, but it's definitely still part of the Aquaman world. They still say there's a Flash movie coming with Ezra Miller. It's Andy Muschietti is supposed to direct this one, but it can't start shooting until Ezra Miller is done with Fantastic Beasts, so that's another one for the 2021 production calendar. Birds of Prey and James Gunn's The Suicide Squad are both going to be R-rated as Warner Brothers sees Disney's acquisition of Fox limiting the R-rated comic book movie opportunities for Marvel characters, so they want to capitalize on that space. The Batman will largely take place in Arkham Asylum, but not entirely. All of those villains are eligible for their own standalone spin-off films as actors in both the Batman and Birds of Prey movies have signed contracts with options for sequels or standalone spin-off films. And finally, some bad news, and this one for the Zack Snyder fans. We were having such a good time, we saved the bad news for the end. An insider says that a release of Justice League Snyder Cut is, quote, a pipe dream, and WB currently has no plans of releasing it in theaters or on HBO Max. This just days after Ben Affleck and others tweeted hashtag release the Snyder Cut, so a lot of fans are holding out hope. Just think about how long it took to get the Donner Cut of Superman 2. What are you hoping to see from the future of DC films? Could Michael B. Jordan make a good Superman? Curveball, how about Henry Golding? That's just my idea. Share your thoughts in the comments section or send them my way on Instagram and Twitter at BrandonDavisBD and head over to comicbook.com slash DC for more updates. I'm BD. I'll see you there.